Deus in adiutorium meum intende. Domine ad adiuvandum me festina. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Santo. Sicut erat in principio et non get semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Alleluia. The apostles' hearts were full of pain for their dear Lord so lately slain. The Lord his servant's wicked train with bitter scorn had dared a reign. With gentle voice the angel gave the women tidings at the grave. Forth with your master shall ye see. He goes before to Galilee. And while with fear and joy they pressed, to tell these tidings to the rest. Their Lord, their living Lord, they meet and see his form and kiss his feet. The eleven, when they hear with speed, to Galilee forthwith proceed, that there they may behold once more the Lord's dear face as oft before. Amen. The holy evangelists searched the wisdom of past ages. Through their gospels they confirmed the words of the prophets. Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. The holy evangelists searched the wisdom of past ages. Through their gospels they confirmed the words of the prophets, Alleluia. Through the gospel, God called us to believe in the truth and to share the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. 
Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Through the gospel, God called us to believe in the truth and to share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Many will praise their wisdom, it shall be remembered forever. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Many will praise their wisdom, It shall be remembered forever. Alleluia. A reading from St. Paul's first epistle to the Corinthians. Brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and in which you stand firm. You are being saved by it at this very moment. I hand it on to you first of all, which I myself received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, 
that he was buried and, in accordance with the scriptures, rose on the third day. They proclaimed the Lord's praises, told of his power to save. Alleluia, alleluia. They proclaimed the Lord's praises, told of his power to save. Alleluia, alleluia. And of the wonders he had worked. Alleluia, alleluia. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, et Spiritui Sancto. They proclaimed the Lord's praises, told of his power to save. Alleluia, alleluia. Through the grace of Jesus Christ, preachers and teachers were sent out as ministers of the faith, for all who believe, Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. Per viscera misericordiae dei nostri, in quibus visitabit nos oriens exalto, Illuminare his qui in tenebris et in umbra mortis setent, ad dirigendos pedes nostros in viam pacis. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Through the grace of Jesus Christ, preachers and teachers were sent out as ministers of the faith for all who believe. Alleluia. You gave wonderful guidance to your church through her holy and distinguished teachers. May Christians rejoice always in the splendid legacy given to your church. When their holy pastors prayed to you, as Moses had done, you forgave the sins of your people. So through the intercession of these holy pastors, continue to sanctify and purify your church. You anointed your holy ones in the midst of their brothers and called the Holy Spirit down upon them. Fill all the leaders of your people with the Holy Spirit. You yourself are the sole possession of your holy pastors. Grant that those you have redeemed with your blood may remain in you. Strengthen your church in faith and love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who raised up Saint Mark, your evangelist, 
and endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel, grant, we pray, that we may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully in the footsteps of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.